Alright, I guess this is the night bitches die. Right, so here we are in, in the East Night Susa, in the Swedish country, by the lake. The lake looks amazing. And I'm out here till we get back shortly. Uh, but if you, if you know me, as I say, I, uh, I'll, I'll try anything. I, I always go on about food wise, like I try anything. I've tried some crazy things from all over the world anyway. Uh, but I've been living in Sweden for like three years now, and a few people have mentioned to me hello, random bits of grass. Uh, Sustreming. This is fermented fish. The translation is, is sour, sour herring. Uh, it's basically just been put in this tin to ferment on itself with. Yeah, it doesn't really have much ingredients, it's just like it. Uh, apparently the smell is really, really bad, but like really, really bad. Like you can't take it on a plane because the tin will explode. You can't open them in public places, you'll face like a hefty fine. Uh, so like out the public side, if not, get try it. Yeah, but apparently it tastes quite nice if you can get past the smell. Uh, traditionally it's eaten with Mendel batatas, uh, which is almond potatoes. Um, on. I haven't had Mendel potatoes before, but yeah, that's just potato, Swedes, almond potato, maybe it's Swedes, don't know what almond tastes like, yeah, it's still nice though, and uh, red onion, I got wrong with red onion, when I googled it, um, it says you should have this on tun bread, which is a Swedish bread, with butter, have it on there, potato and onion on there, and then there's some streaming on there. But they also said to include um, Gredfield, which is sour cream, and uh, grass lurk, which is jive. But upon speaking to Lance Queen's father, who's an 82 year old uh, northern Swedish man, uh, which and this is a, a, tends to be a northern Swedish dish, uh, he said, no, just do it with the, the onion, potato, and the tun bread. So the plan is to open it, uh, get some on the, on the bread with the stuff, and then eat it. So it's just streaming. To see how how this one goes. The smell is apparently really bad. Can't be. I don't think it can be that bad. Like, whoa, that's a smell. That like, I don't want this liquid on my leg. I don't want that liquid on me at all. Whoa. <coughs> Fuck, I need to open this tin before I, I just don't have the capabilities anymore. Oh, that's bad, that. Not as bad as I imagined, but like it is re really bad. It's a really bad smell. How, how are you finding it, Ellen? How's, how's the smell? Nothing. I breathe through my mouth. You breathe through your mouth. So we take that. That's the one there. Now what I'm supposed to do with this is just take a piece of it. And yeah. Go. Put it on your tongue, bread. Don't get the liquid. Don't pour it out. No, just a bit so I can take a bit off the top. Oh yeah, that's... It's quite fragrant. It's one way of uh, summing it up, I'd say. So I'm supposed to fold this, aren't I? Yeah. So I'm supposed to put some potato in. Mendel potatoes. Mandel. Huh? Mandel. Mandel potatoes, sorry. It's not my first language. It's like trying to correct someone's English, but it's not their first language. So I sort of get away with it. I've plenty of red onion though. I think the red onion is the hero in this uh, in this equation. It doesn't. I don't know. I, maybe maybe I've got a weird sense of smell. Like it's, it's, oh, maybe it's just the Swedish country air. Yeah. Just a whole piece of it. Oh, take away the skin. No, eat it all. Eat it, eat it all. Take a small one. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for there. Try and knock in the liquid. Put that in there. That's it. I don't, I don't think it smells that bad, like, I'm not going to lie. It's like, it, it, it somehow it gets... <coughs> a bit on the back of your throat, but... Yeah, I think people are disappointed now. Oh. 
Yeah? It's unique. Salty. Yeah. A really salty. Really salty taste come through. Mm. Smell? Definitely worse than the than the the taste. Like the, the taste is, is nice. It is really salty though. I feel like I've just like I know like just fucking like put a teaspoon of salt in my mouth. It complements well together, the textures and stuff. Uh, there's a bit of liquid jumping out of it, I don't know. Uh, I mean, but yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't knock it until you've tried it, because. I'm going to eat a second one. Uh, yeah. So, to sum it up, if you want to see Bossman throw up, you tune in on Fridays on the drinking stream and get him to eat a bean boozled. That's the way to do it. Not by Sue Sturming. Apparently, yeah, fermented fish. Yeah. yeah. Right. Out of five, how much do you rate it? Well, it's not something I'd go buy. I'm not going to say, like, it's delicious. But it's not bad, like, if I was round someone's house and they were like, oh, it's one a bit. Yeah, yeah, I've got them. So I'd say, like, two. Just below average food, but still enjoyable. Alright. Yeah, keep it classy, guys. I'll see you next time.